Hello everyone. Today, I will talk about AESA radars, which have been popular all over the world in recent years and have made a name for themselves. Why do all countries want to integrate this radar into their warplanes? What is the feature of this radar? When did this radar appear? Why is AESA, Active Electronically Scanned Array, such an important technology? Why should a plane have this radar in order to be a fifth generation fighter? AESA radar first appeared in the 1950s when America's famous Bell Labs were trying to develop quieter, more sensitive radars. Developed further in the 1980s, this technology was scaled down enough to be placed in the nose of a fighter jet in the 1990s. F-22 Raptor the N-APG-77 AESA radar used by the F-22 is the world's first mass-produced ESA radar. And this radar has revolutionized the whole world. Thanks to this radar, the F-22 Raptor has a ghost feature. Because in order for an aircraft to be invisible, it must use this radar. I will talk about the reasons shortly. This technology in the F-22 has revolutionized the world. European countries, Japanese, Russian, and Chinese started to produce their own AESA radars. Now let me explain the AESA radar. But before I talk about the AESA radar, let me talk about how a normal radar works. A radar antenna regularly emits radio signals to the environment. If these signals hit an object, the signals that hit the object will return to the radar antenna and the position of the object will be revealed. Radar systems have receivers and transmitters. Transmitters emit abundant radio signals to the environment. If there is an object around, the signals are reflected back to the antenna, that is, to the receiver. This way, the radar detects that something is there. Just like in a dark room, the flashlight in your hand shows where you're holding it. The light hits the object first, the light reflected from the object hits your eye and you see the object. Radars appeared at the beginning of the 20th century. Early models could detect anything in the air. Radars developed in the following years were able to detect the height of an object in the air, at what speed and where it was moving. And today's radars are so advanced that they can even detect the model number of a flying aircraft. Now let's talk about AESA radar. AESA is similar to conventional radar in many ways, but it has many differences. The AESA radar has hundreds of tiny modules. These modules are both receiver and transmitter. While conventional radars emit a high amount of radio signals to the environment, hundreds of modules in the AESA radar emit radio signals at different frequencies over a small area. So why randomly send radio signals of different frequencies and wavelengths to a small area instead of scanning a large area like a conventional radar? The answer to this question is very simple and very clear. Invisibility. If you want to make an airplane with ghost feature, just adjusting the fuselage geometry and hiding the engine will not be enough. If you put a conventional radar in front of your aircraft, it will shine like a headlight on the front of the motorcycle. In other words, while you are trying to see the environment, the enemy will see you clearly. If you want your plane to be ghost, you have to hide the radar signals. An aircraft with conventional radar is easily detected and destroyed by being caught by the enemy's radar warning system. Since AESA radar distributes signals of different wavelengths to different points, it is very difficult to detect at once. Many radar warning systems perceive the signals sent by the AESA radar as background noise. That's what AESA radar is all about. Thanks to this radar, you can make your plane completely invisible. Nobody can see your plane. No one can detect the signals of your air defense system. This is not the only advantage of AESA radars. It is impossible to blind AESA radars because they use multiple signals. For example, you have an aircraft with conventional radar and this aircraft is heading towards the target. When the radar warning system on the target detects the radar on your aircraft, it sends intense radio signals to your aircraft's radar. And that causes your plane to go blind. Of course, this technology has a handicap. 
the most important handicap is money. These radars are extremely costly to manufacture and develop. This radar appeared in the 1950s, and it took 40 years, even in America, to shrink this radar down enough to fit it in the nose of an airplane. Doing this requires advanced engineering. The working logic of AESA radars is known to everyone, but the real trick is to place it in the nose of an F-16. The Chinese have just developed the AESA radar, which can be attached to the nose of an aircraft. The Russians, on the other hand, have difficulties in reducing the size of this radar and lightening it. Thanks for watching. If you found the video useful, you can support it by liking and subscribing. Have a nice day.